Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a four slider for publication summary. Now I just took my picture, I will double click on my picture and then I will go to crop, crop to shape and then I will choose a rounded corner shape. After that, I'm going to make it 1.1 in size and then add a border to my picture. Increase the weight and then drag it a little bit in the corner. Go to insert, insert a text box and write your name inside. Make your name bold and increase the size to 32. Now, after increasing your size, change the color of the font. Drag the font next to the picture and put it there. Now press Ctrl Shift and drag it down and paste it to like this. Now add your designation here, reduce the font to 12 and then click on bold again to unbold it and then copy this text again and Ctrl Shift and drag it down. Similarly Ctrl Shift drag it one more time and copy it down. Now add your department here, it can be anything so you can write your own departments here. So this is just an exam example, you can follow the designations or the name of your department depending upon your area of research. Select these text boxes and drag it down next to the picture. Now we are going to move to the next section. So for that I'm going to copy my logo first and put it here in the corner. You can also do that. Now I'm going to add a gradient to my background. I'm just going to add a sample gradient and I will work on it later on. Take a rounded box from the shapes and draw a box like this until the corner. Make sure you have equal space on either left side and the right side. Now decrease the curve of the box and then change the shape of the box, change the color of the box. But before that, I'm going to copy my name here and then I'm going to control shift drag and change this name to another heading. I do this because I don't want to copy and make the fonts different again. So I just copy the same text and then do. Now add a box over here. I will show you why I did like this. Give it a black outline and white shape. Drag it a little bit down. Now first select the background shape first and then the top one and then click on subtract. It will remove that certain portion from that image and it will give a look like this. Now let's just adjust the name font here and then we are going to change color to dark gray and then we are done with the name title of our slide. Now let's just add slides. Now these slides represent each publication I want to show. So I added 5 slides that means I have 5 publications. So now I'm going to remove the layout for all. So for that I'm going to go to my picture section and then I will select each and every diagram one by one. So let's say I selected this picture first. I'm going to change the font to 2.31 and then I'm going to go to the second slide. Before that I'm going to select all these slides and change its layout to blank first. Now I'm going to go take a picture. Take a picture again, reduce its size, put it in the corner and you are done. I will repeat the same steps for other slides. Now go to slide zoom, use slide zoom like this, select the slides that you want to zoom and select like this and insert. Now you can see you have different slides. Now make sure you arrange them according to the slides appearing in your uh, in the order of your slides. So now this one comes first, then this one second, this third, fourth and fifth. Now don't worry for that, go to zoom, add a border to this one just to uh, make sure that you can see. Now remember one thing, I added the slide zoom like this but when I click it will go to the next slide. To, in order to uh, not do that you want to go to the click on the slide go to zoom and then return to zoom. That means every time you click on a picture and then click again it will go back to the main slide instead of going to the next one. So that's how you can do this in the slide zoom option. So now you can see that when I select it goes to the s slide and then when I select again it goes back. Now you can change the images how they appear. Select the slide and then change this image to the uh, image that is being used in the slide. Now again select that and go to change image, change picture and use the same picture that is being used in that slide. Now it is the way to represent any slide within picture. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other slides also so that I can save time. Like you can see that I'm just clicking on that, go to change picture and use the picture that is being shown in that slide. So I'm actually using journal covers just to make it look more better. So now I'm going to arrange them. So before that I'm going to add one small rounded box behind this uh, journal cover page and then I will bring the journal cover page to the front but uh, before that I'm going to manage its size to 4 and 2 point something you can see the size in the video. Now I'm going to send it back and bring the cover page to the front and then I will adjust the size of the picture to 2.31 select all the images and then make 2.31 uh, same size for all. I'm going to adjust for one and then I'm going to repeat the process for other. Change its color 
to uh, snow outline and then it's color to light uh, off white and then you can select and drag control shift and drag similarly control shift drag and repeat the same process for other and bring the journal cover to the front now select them go to align align them to top first and then select individually and then align them to the center now you can select them and do them one by one because they are separate files if you do them together they are going to appear in the center of the slide so don't do that do them individually and that's how you can do it now most of the things for this part is done now we are going to work on the text part now just copy control shift and drag the text from the top and make new sections it depends upon you what kind of sections you want for example in this case i want my citation score to appear like it says that number of citations uh, for my this publication in this journal for example it says five I'm going to make a generic font for this one, style for this one, and then I'm going to do the same one for the others by just control shift and dragging to other. Now I want to show uh, this for other slides, so control shift and click and drag. Control shift and drag. I already copied some samples, so I'm going to paste it here. You can show the major uh, publications in the main page, and also if you want them to see the other publication, you can just uh, write plus more. That means they can go in that particular slide and watch over there. Before we go to the slides, let's work on the color. Make the background to the shape a little bit light color, not too dark. It can be light gray or light yellow, light green, depending upon your own choice. But in this case, I'm going to use light gray. Now I'm going to work on the individual slide in which we are going to go into zoom. I'm going to make a generic style. For that, I'm going to write the main heading, which is number of citations, five. And then you can use a generic uh, uh, shape like this over here. And then same text goes on for the everything. So I just copied the text before and I'm going to paste it here. Now this shows that this publication was cited in this journal with this impact factor. Article link you can show here. And one thing that you can reduce the size of your link by using a Google shortener or URL shortener. You can find in the Google and just type URL shortener. You can reduce the size of your URL. The font that I use in this one are 14 and 11. Also, in order to make it more eye-catching, you can add the journal in which you publish. You can add a cover page for that journal. I'm keeping my size depending upon the space that I have. For example, for this case, I'm trying to reduce size and see how it looks so that I can manage the boundary of the cover page on the left side. I'm going to add the cover page for the journal in which we publish, for example. So let's say this is the journal in which you publish. And I'm also going to show so one more thing, which is the... Uh, people who publish my work so if they are famous people you can also mention those people now these are two authors for example let's say for example now select them go to crop crop to shape and use this 10 shape that means it has 10 corners and then you can show and use them and reduce the size to 1.1 now this is just an example you can use different shapes or different ideas to show your citations or anything that you want to highlight in your work just the example to show your publications in a simple slide and to show it more effective and more uh, in a good way. Normally people just crop the title of their publication and then just paste in the slides. So that doesn't look too good and attractive and also may makes it too boring even though your work is too awesome. Uh, but the thing is that the way you present makes it more effective. Now I made this sample slide here. Uh, I'm going to copy this text again and I'm going to drag and copy this and control shift and drag it down. Similarly, I'm going to do this again, control shift and drag it down. So like this, you can do If you have more publications, you can reduce the content that you are showing in the slide. So I'm showing more content just to cover space. So if you have uh, more publication and more thing, you can reduce. I did the same thing for the other slide also. And also you can add some slide notes in this that click here to go back to the main slide. And if you want to click here, go to the next slide, click over here. And I'm just adding some helping information that might help for the users that are looking at this presentation. Although you are you are going to be the only user that are, that is going to use and operate, so just add some uh, helping information if in case somebody else is using in an operate uh, in an animation mode. So now everything is done. I'm just making slight adjustments, and uh, this is how you can make a one one pager publication summary slide. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. And please do let me know your suggestions and comments uh, in my comment section. And if you haven't watched my previous video, do let watch my previous videos also. I hope you guys are learning a lot from these videos. And if you have any uh, suggestions and comments for me, please do let me know in my comment section. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. And keep supporting. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.